At this point, we've spent a lot of time talking about the 49ers' defense and how good it is. Now let's talk about some places that it's vulnerable. One of the places I think that it's really vulnerable is in the QB running game, specifically in the read option game. And so let's take a look at a couple plays here from the Cowboys. The first one, uh, they're going to run sort of a mid-zone or a a mid-read option. And so at the snap, we're going to get our tackle is firing to the second level. We're leaving this guy unblocked. And so we're firing to the second level here. Uh, We're going to block, and then we're going to get two. our center and our left guard are both pulling through this hole. We're setting up a lane for Dak to run through in the event that this defensive end doesn't crash down on him. And so we snap the ball, and we see the defensive end stands up. He's not coming at Dak. We've got that puller. We've got a puller coming through the hole right here. We've got somebody coming through the hole here. Look at this room that Dak has to keep this ball and run, except he doesn't. I mean, look at that. If Dak keeps this ball, he's got two blockers in front, and he's got two linebackers, and he's got yardage he can run. Dak should have kept this ball. Jalen Hurts is keeping that ball. And so there's an opportunity for the QB running game to get going for the Eagles off of plays like this. Now let's look at another one down in the red zone. This time, Dak will keep the ball. They're going to motion C.D. Lamb across the formation. Uh, a corner is going to follow with him. And so let's watch that first. We get that motion. We're going to zone read right here. We've got the tight end coming across the formation. We're reading out this guy. Who does he take? He's going to dive down on Zeke. And now we pull it out. We've got a lead blocker coming around the edge. And Dak's got room to run. This is exactly the look the Eagles want. And... I find it hard to believe Jalen Hurts isn't getting into the end zone on that one. And so there's going to be opportunities in the QB running game. Now, Hurts wasn't used a lot in the running game against the Giants. Dealing with shoulder injury, you were up early. Are they willing to put him in situations to take those hits? In the NFC Championship game, I think you go for it. you got two weeks to recover after you win before the Super Bowl. Now let's talk about one other area. You don't really want to be throwing middle of the field against this defense. As we talked about in the other other videos, the middle of this defense is so good in what they do. Now, the outside is where you can make your money. Uh, they play a lot of quarters defense, similar to the Eagles, which puts your cornerbacks on islands deep. They also play a lot of cover one man and cover three zone, both of which leave your corners on an island. And so in this play, we've got a single high safety And this is just going to be a straight vertical route from C.D. Lamb. And he's going to get behind this corner. Watch. Just up the field. Boom. He's behind him. Ball is coming out from Dak. Look at the space that he's got here. Look at the room he's got to throw this. If this ball is out here, this is a touchdown. Jalen Hurts to Devonta Smith. Jalen Hurts to A.J. Brown, except Dak underthrows it. And Lamb has to come back. He makes a tremendous catch. Uh, But it's not a touchdown because it's an underthrown ball. Jalen Hurts makes his money throwing the ball downfield. He, nobody has more passing touchdowns or a higher passer rating on balls over 25 yards than Jalen Hurts this season. The Niners' defense is bottom five in defending those passes. Look for the Eagles to get Jalen Hurts involved in the running game and to throw the ball deep outside the numbers early in this game. 